I'm obsessed with helping corporate professionals build entrepreneurial freedom. And a lot of people jump straight to, well, what business should I build, Matt? That's not where to start at all. You have to first create space in your life, especially from your demanding corporate job. If you don't have space, there is no room in your very busy life to go create something new. So we always start with creating space. We do not pass go until we first create space. And a lot of the challenge my clients struggle with is, I have a demanding job, it's got so many hours required of me, all these tasks, all these pressures to be at my desk, in the office, whatever it might be. That feels like a problem of physics where there's only so many hours in the day. Well, we are going to blast right through that problem today, my friends. We are going to get more time back in your life from your job while still maintaining that paycheck and keeping a great reputation. It's a very special approach, which I call the double count time system. Let's get started. Growing up, society taught you to follow the script by choosing a career path and climbing the ladder. But for many people, this promise falls flat. Work suffocates them and life becomes painful. Here, you're trapped in what I call the corporate cage. Fortunately, there's a way out. You can take control of your corporate job and unlock a life of freedom. I call this living uncaged. Hi, this is your host, Matt Doan. I'm a coach, creator, and entrepreneur. Uncaging people is my mission because it's been my exact life journey. This show provides you the stories, principles, and tactics to make it happen. Welcome to Uncage Yourself. I won't lie on my timesheet, Matt. That's what a lot of my clients respond to me with when I challenge them about creating more hours in their day. They think that that means we have to somehow jip their company of the amount of work they're doing, of the right work, but that's not the case at all. We need to completely reimagine time at work and focusing on the right things with the right amount of energy. No one is saying to lie on your timesheet whatsoever, but instead I'd ask that you rethink what counts as work. Let's redefine the notion of work. This is where my greatest time freedom gains came from, and I learned them from some amazing mentors and coaches that I had over the years inside and outside of corporate, and it got me the foundation I needed to build entrepreneurial freedom because Space is the place where miracles happen. There is no transformation in your life without first creating and then permanently holding space. Now, when you think of work, if you're in a typical corporate type job right now, you probably imagine being in front of a corporate device, a smartphone or a laptop, or maybe being with colleagues in front of a whiteboard in a meeting room in cubicles. There's all these preconceived notions of what counts as work. The whole notion of being on the clock, just like Henry Ford, God bless him, he gave us this factory mindset where either we're punching the clock and we're at work or we punch out and we're not at work. It doesn't need to be that black and white anymore. That's the industrial era thinking that's keeping you stuck and miserable. Instead, we create a new time system, okay? Bear with me. So instead, imagine this. Could you work while doing good things for yourself? I want you to see yourself as a corporate athlete, someone who's conserving their energy and not expending it recklessly. And just like a good athlete, ensuring you give it your best when it counts. You don't play 100% every day during practice, but at the right moments at game time, you're giving your best. You need to have the same corporate athlete mentality here. Let me give you an example. One of my heroes, a former boss of mine back in the consulting world, was seemingly always training for Ironman races. Hey, do you have an impressive career on paper, but inside you feel trapped? Is this situation hurting your home life? If so, I'd like to show you exactly how to leverage your corporate career to build entrepreneurial freedom. Head on over to uncagedworkshop.com. There you'll find a short video training for how to create a new work-life chapter that rapidly boosts your freedom, income, and impact. 
all in service of a life that'll make your future self and your family proud. So head on over to uncagedworkshop.com. All right, back to the show. Very strenuous events that took a ton of training. And he wasn't always at his desk. He wasn't always reachable. I even remember seeing his calendar. I had access to it where he would block off large chunks, even during work days, to be training. And I'm like, this seems a little scary, seems a little weird. What's happening? But what I found out as I got to know him, became close with him, <laughs> he was working while on those training runs or on his bike. He was solving problems in his head. He was concepting entire frameworks in his mind. That was his real gift, where he had the clarity on a run or on the bike, whatever it was, to actually think through problems or team management problems, whatever it was. He even did administrative work in his head. So when he got back from that run or that biking session, he had this clarity. We'd get together, and then it would be rapid-fire clarity on solving that problem, bringing the PowerPoint to life, whatever it was. He wasn't doing his work in front of his laptop. This was good for him in his personal ambitions and running Ironmans and being healthy and present and energized for his family. And it was also good for the company because they were getting his best work, not just glued to his desk or laptop 9, 10, 12 hours a day. No, he was double counting. That is my point. To create the double count system means doing something that is good for you and good for your employer at the same time. In effect, you are reducing the number of hours you are working in a traditional sense, right? So even think this way. So we have to free our minds and expand our definitions of work. Think through this, walking, reading, meditating, working out. Could that count as work? Stay with me. Stay with me here. I absolutely counted this at work because when I was repairing and re-energizing and nourishing myself, I'm clearing my conscious and subconscious brains. I'm giving myself focus, the ability to do deep work. But if I'm nonstop plugged into work, operating like all the other minions nonstop plugged in at 8 a.m. going till 8 p.m. Am I really effective? Of course not. You know that in your heart. You feel it. That's why you're so burned out because you're doing too much, so much fake work instead of the real work. So when you double count, you're doing things that are good for you and the company. I hope you see this and it all just nourishes your engine, that internal supercomputer in your mind that the company is paying for. And that's the engine that enables you to deliver sharp, targeted, high-impact outcomes for whatever it is that you do at work. You have to be mentally, emotionally, physically in a great space. So how do you do other things that are good for you that double count as work for your employer too? When you truly own your time and choose healthy activities, you're more impactful at your desk or in front of the whiteboard with colleagues or on that critical client meeting, Zoom, whatever it is. So ask yourself, how can I creatively work while bettering other areas of my life? It's time you treat yourself with extreme care. Value your precious hours. This is the idea of being a corporate athlete. Yes, this is different, and it's going to challenge your thinking and make you a little bit uncomfortable at first, but you've got to ask yourself, will you ever reclaim your life, your health, build entrepreneurial freedom in your future if you don't do this, if you don't boldly imagine a new time system? Stop letting factory mindsets control how you show up. What do companies want? What they don't want is 10 to 12 hour work days. Good leaders don't ask for that. No, what they want is a strong bottom line. They want great profits. They want great culture. They want engaged employees, people that are thriving while they're there, delivering the right essential outcomes that move said needles, right? We need to make sure that we are focusing on the right things. So you've got to be an adult. You've got to take on this new time management system for yourself where you can double count and feel good with it. And you're going to have to do some emotional and mental programming, some journaling, some self-talk, some getting others on board in your life with this. But can you imagine the freedom you bring into your life through doing this? I deeply believe this is ethical. We are just glued to an old time system that's keeping us miserable and ineffective and inefficient. We don't need to be there that many hours in most cases. Sure, sometimes you might have the occasional 12-hour day, but that shouldn't be every day. If it is, that's a whole nother problem for you. 
And when you do this and you treat yourself through this double counting system as a corporate athlete, it's a win-win for you, your family, your employer, everybody involved. So you need to start declining this fear-based compliance and all the fake work that's dominating your mind right now that you know isn't that essential anyways. We need to say, nope, I'm going to redefine the notion of work. I'm going to intentionally create space in my life. And we can't do what all the corporate programs tell us to do. We can't just bolt on this mental health app or do a few extra meditations. No, the core problem is that you have no space in your life, no time, energy, emotional capacity to be the person you're meant to be for you, your your employer, family, your future self, all of that. You need to create space. There is no bolting on anything. You need to create space and then carefully add subtraction precedes addition. It must. We must start with subtraction in order for any sort of addition to make sense. So get creative with your time. Ensure everyone still wins, including your employer. My mentors taught me this mindset. It completely changed my corporate experience forever. It created the space I need, the emotional relationship I needed from work. I got healthier, more present, more energized, more hopeful, more momentum in building my business on the side. This is necessary. This is the stuff that is life or death. If you don't create space, you're not going to get the progress you want. So do it. Get healthier. Be present for family. Use that space to build your side business, your entrepreneurial freedom path, which we talk about endlessly in so many other episodes. Now, if you want help doing this, this is something that's very difficult to do alone. There's so much fear and self-sabotage that goes into it. And we work through the double count time system as one of the things we do in my programs. And the way that we get jump started into getting that help is by booking a call at matthewdone.com forward slash talk. And in that call, we'll have a breakthrough session where we will do three things together. Number one is we'll look at your current work situation to identify what's working, what's not working, and why. Secondly, we'll get clarity on what you do want for both career and life. And thirdly, we'll talk about the exact game plan to get you there, including how do you use the corporate athlete double count time system mentality to create space in your world. It's one piece of many. So book that call at matthewdone.com forward slash talk. That gets you jump started, and we'll talk about what's possible in truly building entrepreneurial freedom in your life. So I hope you can understand how this is absolutely vital work. Please don't let fear make you a desk prisoner for 10 or more hours a day. It doesn't need to be this way. You know it's not good for you. It's not good for your employer either, not good for your family, not good for your future. We need to redefine work. It's a game changer. I hope this helps. Hey, Matt here. Thanks for listening to Uncage Yourself. For show notes and more content like this, head over to uncageyourself.fm. And if you liked what you heard, I'd appreciate you leaving a review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Until next time, be well, my friend.